Congratulations on receiving an open badge from Newcastle University. An open badge is a digital credential that can be used to increase your employability by displaying your achievements on online networks such as LinkedIn. This screencast will show you how to accept your badge, create an account on Open Badge Factory, and then display that badge on LinkedIn. I will be demonstrating this using my colleague's account, Dr. Claire Irving. You will have received an email that looks like the one displayed here. This will have been sent to your university email account. So to claim your badge, you need to click the text that reads, Get Your Badge. The next page will show you all the detail, also called metadata, of your badge. If you're using the Mozilla Backpack, you can use the link below to export the badge. It's really important to make sure you create your account using the exact email address that the badge has been awarded to. This can be seen here on this page. I would recommend copying this text and pasting it into the account creation section. Click to sign up to a free Open Badge Passport account. This will be the location where you can store all your badges. On this page, I'm going to paste in the email address that we copied earlier. This ensures the account is created with the same email address that the badge is awarded to. Fill in the rest of the details and click Create Account. An email will be sent to the account where the badge was awarded to. Find the email that was sent upon account creation and click on the link to finish creating your account. You'll be asked to fill in a password and then to log in. Upon login you will see the badge that was awarded to you and you need to click to accept the badge. You can click into the badges section at the top to see all the badges that have been awarded to you. And to display this on LinkedIn, we need to create a page. So go to the Pages section at the top of the screen and click on the Add Page button. We now need to complete four sections. So the first section gives your page a title and a description. Once you've added these, click on Add Block and choose Badge. Choose the badge you've earned and either the short or long description. In this example, I'm going to use the long description. This will display the most detail available for the badge. On the second page, you can choose your theme and style to display your badges. There are a large variety to choose from, but I'm going to stay with the default option. The next page allows us to determine the visibility of this page. In our example, we want this to be public. This will allow people to view your badge through LinkedIn. When you select the public option, the site will give you a public URL. We need to copy and paste this as we will use it when adding to LinkedIn. Clicking save on this section will then display a preview of the page you have created. Now we can go on to our LinkedIn account. We can see Claire's account here. In this example, we're going to add Claire's badge alongside her employment at the university. So we click on the pencil tool to edit this particular section. And there's a section to link to media near the bottom of the page that appears. A box will appear and we paste the page link that we had copied earlier. Make sure to click add next to the link. A graphic with the badge will appear and we need to click Apply. Then scroll down to the bottom to click Save. Your badge will now be visible in your LinkedIn profile and employers can click on it to see the criteria you achieved to get the badge.